Hey guys, about to start on another new project, and I'm not making a toy this time, I'm making something that I can actually use. I've got this Cub Cadet garden tractor here. It's a 1450, and best I can tell, it's a 1975 model. And it used to have a 50 inch deck underneath it, and it had a 14 horse single cylinder motor on it, and this one's been converted to a two cylinder 18 horse. I'm sure something happened with the old motor. But I thought I'd get you some shots of the before, before I start tearing it apart. But they offered a whole bunch of attachments for this thing. They had a front end loader. They had a backhoe attachment for it. Uh, some grater blades. I think a, a tiller for the back part of it. And several people have made their own attachments for it. And that's what I'm going to attempt to do. Is I want to make a front end loader attachment for this tractor. And what I'm going to use for steel is my cherry picker. Uh, I'm going to use this steel here because once I make a front end loader, I won't need a cherry picker. I'm going to actually make it, hopefully, to where a bucket will attach and I can put forks on it. So if I want to pull a motor off of a mower or one of my projects, I can do that or lift things around the yard. And let me tell you guys, I've never done anything with hydraulics before, so this is going to be a new adventure for me. So you guys that have done hydraulics before, go easy on me. Uh, I'm learning as I go. And I've always wanted to know how to do hydraulics, and no better way, I guess, than to jump into it. I don't know how much of this tractor has been altered. Uh, but this is the controller right here the, for the hydraulic ram, which is a hydraulic cylinder, which is right here that raises and lowers the deck. It had a real heavy deck on it, so it's got a hydraulic lift. And I'm not going to use any of that. I'm actually going to pull that stuff off. And this, the drive system, the hydraulic drive, the hydrostatic, is hand operated and I'm gonna try to make a foot pedal down there to be able to operate it with a foot pedal so I'm fixed to get all that tore off and I'm probably gonna pull out most of this wiring I'm gonna end up redoing it eliminating some of it so I'm gonna get started working on that well I got to listening to my music and started tearing stuff apart and I didn't do much video on uh, but this piece right here was how you set the the cutter deck height where it would stop at and I'm gonna reuse this bracket actually put a pedal on here and a pedal back here and that way it'll rock forward or rock backward for the drive but I've got to cut off uh, this part and this part of these arms this part of this arm and I'll have to actually weld something back onto here for this this rod right here is going to have to be shortened and tied to something that I weld to that. So I just keep taking more and more off of this tractor. Uh, you see I've got the motor off of it right now. But like I've mentioned before, this was altered quite a bit. Um, this engine plate right here is a plate cut out of another mower and set down in there for this, this motor to bolt up to. And... I'm glad I checked it because it's got these two 5 16 bolts back here in the back that hold the plate to angle brackets. And there wasn't even any bolts in the front part here to hold it. So the only two bolts holding the motor in place was these two back here on these brackets. And these brackets are just bolted on. So I think I'm going to eliminate this whole plate and maybe put some angle across here to bolt the engine to or something a little heavier than that uh, but I need to get it out there and get it all pressure washed and cleaned up before I start trying to put anything back on there well it's amazing what a good degreaser and pressure washing does uh, the paint's pretty beat up on this thing but I'm probably going to end up painting this chassis black just because it covers up more <laughs> Uh, 
I got this piece of steel right here that's basically two inches by 10 inches and I had to cut it 12 and a half inches long and I drilled a two and a half inch diameter hole in it with a hole saw and this goes down in here and sets on these existing brackets but then sets on here perfectly level all the same height I went ahead and drilled my mounting holes in here and I'm orienting the motor as you see it here this would have been the front with the air filter and stuff on it and the exhaust would have come out the front but I'm actually going to turn it in there sideways so this will actually be coming out of the side and I'm thinking about having exhaust come out of the side of it and come up right beside of the hood straight up into the air I don't know we'll see how that happens but I'm gonna get this this should be a lot heavier motor plate and I'm gonna weld it in rather than just bolting it in I cut my piece of angle iron here across the bottom. I cut it 38 inches long. I just basically did it wheelbase width wise. And what basically determined where it was front to back was I wanted to make sure that I missed this pulley right here and that I could still get the oil filter off of it right here. So that was basically where I came up with and that's all that determined where that went. And this is a piece of the cherry picker. That's going to be a little bit too tall. I think I'm going to have to cut it down, but I got to make one for the other side. So I'll just kind of match it. I want to flip this over to where this mount is down here. And then I'll have to make a mount like this on the other side when I flip it over. And that's pretty close to where I want that to be, I think. And then that's already beveled on the end, so I'll just have to cut a short piece down. But it's kind of hard to tell the way it's sitting right now, but I'll get it fixed up and show you. this is what I was kind of going for by using these pieces um, I'm gonna use this one on this side with this reinforcing piece on here because this is the side I'm gonna be getting off and on of the tractor and on the other side I'm probably gonna have some extra bracing on the other side that I won't need this but I thought that would kind of reinforce it a little bit and really until I get my cylinders and stuff I don't know whether this width is gonna be the right thing or that tab up there is going to be the right thing that's probably about the places that they'll need to be but I may end up having to cut all that off and move it and this already has a little bevel to it but I'm probably going to have to make a little more bevel to it for my my down piece to go in the front of here I took this angle piece off that I had going across the bottom underneath the frame because I decided to go ahead and take two pieces of angle and basically make it a, a box tube quarter inch wall and this piece right here is a, a 90 degree fitting comes up through this hole right here it's welded underneath there so that when I put this upright tank piece on there I'll have a drain for it so that's why I did that but I've got that welded all the way across there I've got a Weld it back underneath there and I got the uh, engine plate welded in there real good so it ought to be good and strong. bottom piece right here all cut apart I'm gonna do something a little bit different I was gonna use this piece which was the top part of the boom of the engine hoist and this was the upright piece of it and I was gonna put it together something like this let this be the front boom but I think I've changed my mind and I'm going to use this piece. I'll have to cut this off 
cut this part off and weld it on top of here. And then I'm going to end up using, this is one of the legs. So the legs match. So basically you'll end up having this piece up here with that upright. But let me get it put together and you'll see more about how I'm going to do it. I have to cut this off a little bit and then add that piece back to it. And then it'll slide it. cleaned up a little bit and get that welded on there. So I've ended up with three pieces that I'm going to need to put together. Basically right here uh, I've got the bend, the bend part here, this piece has got to go on here, and then this little part right here has to go on to the end of there. Well, there's going to be a lot of stress right there, and I don't want to just butt weld it together. So this is the piece that slid up inside of this tubing that slid in and out to extend the arm or whatnot on the motor hoist. So what I'm going to do is cut a little piece to slide up in here, and I'll uh, I'll plug weld it, and then I'll I'll butt weld it around it and. Uh, that should reinforce it pretty good bit. that's gonna do it for this video I got the arm put on there the upright put on there got the other arm made and I got a big old mess in the shop that I need to clean up only to just mess it up again that's the piece we're gonna use for the tank the upright on the other side so that is gonna have to be next time's video so I appreciate you watching be sure to like subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.